We will now start uh, the press conference uh, for uh, Foreign Affairs uh, Minister Hayashi. Thank you. This morning, as I issued a statement, the one year since the coup d'etat on February 1st last year, I expressed concern about the continued lack of action to improve the situation. And Japan takes this opportunity to once again strongly urge the Myanmar military to take concrete actions to immediately stop the violence, release those who are detained, and swiftly restore Myanmar's democratic political system. Also, I strongly condemn the situation in Myanmar where the use of violence is causing a large number of deaths despite repeated calls by the international community. I offer my heartfelt condolences to those who have lost their lives over the past one year as a result of such violence. Japan urges restraint of violence and a peaceful solution in order to restore peace and stability in Myanmar. Japan will continue to work closely with the international community, including ASEAN, and make utmost efforts to improve the situation in Myanmar so as to ensure the steady implementation of ASEAN's five-point consensus, such as the dispatch of ASEAN chair's special envoy and the start of a dialogue among all stakeholders, including pro-democracy groups. Amid the ongoing difficult conditions, humanitarian support for the people of Myanmar is an urgent challenge. Japan will continue to actively provide humanitarian support and pay close attention to those needs of the people of Myanmar who are facing difficult circumstances. To that end, Japan once again urges the Myanmar military to allow safe and unhindered humanitarian access so as to ensure that humanitarian support reaches those in need. That's all. Please raise your hand if you have a question. And when you are called upon, please come up to the standing microphone Please identify yourself for your, your affiliation. Abe-san, please. Yomiuri newspaper. I have a question regarding North Korea. North Korea has been uh, firing missiles one after another. Uh, Japan-US and Japan-US-Korea, how are you going to promote coordination among these countries? And also, uh, based on the launch the other day, you said the expression of powerful weapons. Uh, some people said that the powerful, uh, what does that mean? That expression was quite difficult to uh, understand. So what is the intent of using that word? Uh, now, regarding uh, uh uh, North Korea. Uh, having entered uh, this year, uh, there have been frequent uh, uh, launch of uh, missiles in a repetitive manner. Against this backdrop, uh, uh, DPRK uh, is uh, uh, likely to have uh, uh, launched uh, a ballistic missile uh, called uh, the uh, Mars 12 uh, demeter range uh, ballistic missile. This is uh, going beyond uh, uh, the normal provocative uh, escalation and uh, cannot be uh, tolerated uh, regarding uh, the highly powerful uh, ballistic missile uh, launch uh, is uh, a threat to uh, Japan region as well as uh, international uh, society in terms of uh, peace and uh, stability. And uh, this is a violation of uh, the Security Council resolution. Therefore, uh, through the Beijing uh, uh, embassy, uh, we have uh, condemned uh, strongly uh, this uh, action. Now, uh, between uh, Japan, uh, between U.S. and uh, Korea, uh, there is uh, a telephone call that is being made uh, uh, amongst uh, the six-party uh, countries. So there is a close cooperation in this regard. Uh, Japan will also work with the international community uh, to uh, call for a complete uh, uh, implementation of uh, the uh, UN resolutions uh, to uh, lead to uh, denuclearization of uh, uh, North Korea. Regarding the High intensity, powerful, uh, with the expression that has been used. Now, having entered this year, uh, the repetition has increased. And uh, the Mars 12 uh, IRBM uh, ballistic missile has been launched. Uh, therefore, it is uh, um, further escalation uh, in a unilateral manner in terms of provocation. Uh, this uh, is a threat uh, for the, the peace and security of uh, Japan region as well as international uh, society. That is the reason why it has been condemned uh, as being uh, highly powerful in terms of intensity. 
Next question, please. Uh, Niigata Nippo Endo, I have a question regarding uh, the Sado uh, gold mine. I understand that uh, the, uh, this was a discussion made in the cabinet meeting. Uh, there is opposition from uh, ROK uh, regarding uh, forced labor uh, signed. Uh, how are you going to respond uh, to uh, uh, ROK? I understand that the task force has been established uh, uh, within the government. Uh, what is the modern Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, um, point in this? Thank you. First of all, regarding the task force, uh, this time uh, headed by Mr. Takizaki, Assistant Deputy Chief Cabinet Secretary, the task force uh, involving MOFA and other related ministries uh, for World Heritage inscription will be installed for membership and the timing of the uh, establishment. Please consult with the Cabinet Secretariat for details. The, the value of uh, Sado gold mines as a cultural heritage, that value has to be appreciated for that purpose. Calm and thorough discussion needs to take place. Therefore, MOFA, together with other relevant ministries, including Cultural Affairs Agency, will make uh, utmost efforts through coordination. The dialogue with Korea on the 28th of uh, January, uh, the Japanese ambassador to Korea, Aiboshi, was summoned by uh, Vice Minister uh, Che Jong-mun to discuss. During this meeting, the uh, Korean side uh, made a, its uh, own assertion regarding Saro uh, gold mine. However, Ambassador Aiboshi said that their own assertion cannot be accept accepted. So the uh, wonderful value of the Isado gold mine as a cultural uh, heritage needs to be appreciated for that purpose. We are going to have a calm and thorough discussion with the Korean side as well. Next question. Sugimoto of Sankei. I have a follow-up question regarding Sado gold mine. Regarding the nomination, the Korea is raising objection for overall the bilateral relationship. What would be the implication on the overall bilateral relationship? As I have already mentioned, uh, the ambassador uh, has uh, uh, met uh, uh, with the uh, requesting party and I understand uh, uh, that uh, such a conversation has taken place. And against this backdrop uh, from uh, the ambassador, I said that uh, the unique uh, assertion of the uh, ROK side uh, cannot be accepted. Now, in terms of relationship with ROK, we will uh, uh, discuss uh, uh, in a cool-headed manner um, with integrity. I have a simple question. Do you think that this is going to uh, worsen uh, the relations with Korea? Well, from our perspective regarding Sado gold mines, the during the Edo period, uh, they used a large uh, industrial scale using a handcrafted technology. Therefore, it has a high value as a heritage. The cultural, this is a cultural issue in our view. Therefore, this is a the Japan-Korea relationship is a very important relationship, so we have to make sure that uh, this is not going to make a negative implication to a uh, uh, necessary bilateral relationship. Therefore, we are going to have a thorough and uh, calm uh, discussion. I am Channel A. Kim Minji is my name. I have a question regarding Sado Gold Mine as well. Currently, you ki uh, so you are going to establish a task force. So going forward, you are going to have a dialogue with Korea, and perhaps you are going to perhaps modify the content of uh, nomination. Is that kind of thing necessary? That is to say, the change to the content of the nomination. Is it possible? Regarding the task force, uh, as I have already mentioned, uh, it has been established accordingly. Going forward, as I have already mentioned today, Regarding uh, the cultural heritage, uh, outstanding uh, characteristic of uh, uh, Sado Goldman uh, should uh, be uh, evaluated accordingly, uh, and a cool headed uh, uh, discussion will be uh, required. And uh, we will be working with other ministry and agencies uh, to realize this objective. 
Next question, please. Maeda san, please. This is uh, uh, Kyoto Jishin. My name is Maeda. I understand uh, that. Please uh, give me more details about uh, what is being discussed uh, between uh, ROK and Japan. Um, you talked about the ambassador uh, discussion. Uh, the assertion of uh, Korea cannot be accepted. Uh, what uh, is that? This is regarding forced labor. Please elaborate further. Yes. The uh, Korean side's uh, uh, assertion of its own at the Sado gold mine, the forced labor uh, took place according to Korea. So uh, such an assertion uh, cannot be something we cannot accept from the Japanese side based on our position. Nobira-san, please. Asahi Shinbun. I have a question regarding COVID-19 related measures for the USFJ. The, 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 the uh, testing was not uh, quantitative, but qualitative testing. However, Japan has sought the uh, alignment between their views and their, their measures and our measures. Was that testing appropriate? No. Uh, to uh, the USFJ, uh, we have uh, provided uh, uh, information accordingly on this matter. And uh, before uh, departure as well as uh, entry into Japan uh, regarding uh, the testing, the um, the request uh, uh, is uh, to be uh, abided by, and uh, the U.S. Uh, forces Japan has uh, been uh, following uh, this uh, uh, request. Now, uh, we have uh, been confirming uh, this uh, uh, request and response from the U.S. side. Um, the uh, the uh, the, def uh, the Department of uh, uh, Defense, as uh, well as uh, uh, CDC, uh, standards uh, are followed uh, in terms of uh, antigen test uh, that is being conducted. That is the response that we have received uh, from the USFJ. According to the Prime Minister's instructions, uh, the, uh, the quarantine and health uh, uh, subcommittee has been established. Uh, this will be established going forward. And therefore, in this forum, uh, thorough uh, discussions uh, will be uh, conducted. Bunsan, please. Hongkaido, uh, uh, I have a question regarding Ukraine. On the part of the uh, Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, in Japan, um, the Japanese nationals' uh, departure is being recommended. Uh, what is the current situation of the evacuation? And also, uh, toward the escalation uh, with U.S., uh, Russia, and uh, discussions that are taking place uh, amongst the relevant uh, uh, parties, uh, what uh, uh, is the intention of Japan uh, in terms of uh, this escalation? First of all, in terms of the recognition of the uh, situation on the ground, the around the border of Ukraine, we are seeing the uh, build up of military forces by Russia. Therefore, that allows for no optimism. Therefore, the diplomatic efforts by countries concerned are continuing. However, there is a possibility that the situation may change very rapidly. As far as Japan is concerned, the, we have been supporting the sovereignty and territorial integrity of Ukraine consistently. And we had a, a summit meeting between Japan and U.S. on TV the, in order to prevent the invasion by Russia to uh, Ukraine. It was confirmed that the two countries will cooperate and coordinate. We are going to continue to uh, co uh, work with the international community going forward regarding the uh, embassy staff and their families. The government of Japan has a highest priority on the uh, safety of Japanese nationals there. We are urging them to use uh, commercial flights as quickly as possible. And at the Japanese embassy in Ukraine, we have to consider the murky situation going forward. And also, we are going to maintain the necessary mechanism under the ambas ambassador. We are concentrating our efforts on the such uh, measures. And we are promoting the uh, departure of uh, embassy staff and their families and some embassy staff members uh, to Japan. We are going to make sure that uh, their safety is ensured. Next question, Azahari-san. Uh, Mr. 
Hayash, you met uh, with uh, Minister of UAE, Sheikh Abdullah, uh, online uh, last week, and you mm. condemned uh, launching missiles by horses on the UAE and uh, on uh, civilian uh, targets in Abu Dhabi, uh, specifically. And MOFA Overseas Safety and Security Division said in an update that the UAE, uh, on the UAE that uh, more attacks by the Houthis can't be ruled out. Uh, I would like to know uh, on which basis the foreign ministry made this evaluation, and uh, this uh, because it suggests that the Houthis attacks will continue. And what is uh, your position on that? Thank you. Hi. On the 28th of January, as already mentioned, uh, I had the opportunity to have a telephone uh, conversa uh, discussion uh, with the Minister of Dara. Uh, we have uh, this, uh, strongly condemned uh, the attacks uh, uh, to UAE. And we also expressed uh, our condolences uh, to the victims and the victims' families. Uh, in Yemen, uh, the uh, tensions are rising on a continuous manner. Uh, Houthis are utilizing social media and uh, other means uh, to uh, imply the continuation of attacks uh, to UAE. Uh, it so happens that uh, on the 31st uh, uh, yesterday, uh, the attack uh, by Houthis has occurred on the part of uh, a Japanese uh, government. Uh, we want to achieve, we hope to achieve uh, peace uh, and maintenance uh, and strengthening of uh, stability in the Middle East. In that regard, uh, we will do our utmost uh, and uh, secure the uh, safety of the uh, Japanese nationals in UAE. Here is some, please. This is Hugh of uh, I have a follow-up question uh, regarding uh, the previous question. Regarding USFJ, uh, regarding the antigen test, uh, which was a qualitative uh, test. Now, uh, qualitative test uh, is lower in terms of uh, quality compared to quantitative uh, uh, test. So there seems to be inconsistency. Uh, in 2020, in uh, July, in terms of the uh, border measures, uh, agreement has been made. However, it was not uh, effective uh, in its uh, implementation. It was not functioning. Uh, with respect to this matter, are you going to lodge a protest? And uh, are you going to uh, request uh, uh, rectification? Thank you. Earlier, I gave you a response. And as I said earlier already, on our part, uh, as necessary, on a repeated basis, we have been telling USFJ we have making our request to them. Based on that, the antigen test, the types of antigen test, uh, we have been requesting them to make a confirmation on that. And based on that request, we have received a response from the USFJ. So on that point as well, we have a newly uh, established quality health subcommittee, and that committee will discuss this issue as well, together with other issues as well. Next question. Once again, at this point in time, do we have intention to uh, make a request for improvement at this point in time? As I have already mentioned in today, uh, for this uh, very purpose, uh, under uh, the uh, Japan-US uh, uh, Joint Committee, we will establish uh, a health uh, and uh, quarantine uh, subcommittee with experts involved as well. Uh, therefore, in this uh, forum, we will have uh, steadfast uh, discussions. Any other questions? Please go ahead. Internet, uh, uh, my name is Amos. On the 30th of January, or the 31st, uh, in the Bloomberg uh, uh, article, it said that uh, in the U.S. Uh, Senate, uh, the agreement uh, um, has been uh, is likely to be reached in terms of uh, strong sanctions uh, toward uh, Ukraine. And uh, uh, Prime Minister uh, Kishida said that uh, on the 21st of January, a uh, confirmation has been made uh, regarding uh, strong uh, uh, action. Uh, even without invasion on the part of, uh, of uh, uh, Russia, if the uh, U.S. decides to, um, uh, to implement uh, sanctions, uh, what is going to be the position of Japan? 
Thank you. Regarding Russia, whether or not it is going to invade Ukraine and how we are going to respond to that, that is a hypothetical question. So I would like to refrain from answering the question. Now, for Japan, we are going to continue to work with the international community, including the G7, in order to respond in an appropriate manner. Thank you. This concludes the press conference. Thank you very much.